Michigan lawmakers gave the final approval to use millions of dollars to fund the new $2.4 billion electric vehicle battery plant near Big Rapids. The controversial and much debated plant has caused quite a stir between parties. Many Republicans urging the project be paused, citing concerns about Goshen's apparent ties to the Chinese Communist Party. News A's Taylor Morris is live now with more information and what this means for the state moving forward. Taylor? Yeah, Michelle, Brian, good evening. The Senate Appropriations Committee voted 10 to 9 Thursday afternoon. The funding comes from the Strategic Outreach and Reserve Fund, which are economic incentive dollars created to bring in big business. The new factory is estimated to bring in more than 2,000 jobs to the area. Democrat, de Democratic supporters, including Governor Whitmer, released a statement last fall. She said, quote, it will shore up our status as a global hub of mobility and electrification. Also on board is the president of Ferris State University, who says Goshen will bring more opportunities for students. However, not everyone is on board. Many have protested the effort, voicing their concerns about environmental impacts and cited Goshen's apparent ties to the Chinese Communist Party. Senator Roger Houck issued a statement today about the project. He says, quote, what I've seen over the past few months has been an outright community relations disaster by this company that leaves legitimate questions on their ability to gain the trust and support of our state and our local community, end quote. The 10 yes votes came from Democratic lawmakers and the no votes came from three Democrats and six Republicans. In the newsroom, Taylor Morris, News 8.